Steven. Good to you. Well, a, a record-setting night with, with four guys getting contracts. I just wonder, uh, of course, you're one of them. How are you feeling right now at this moment? Uh, it's surreal. Uh, I've worked a lot. Uh, I've worked 10 years for this. Uh, a lot of up and ups and downs leading up to this point, but uh, I'm glad I capitalized and I'm glad I'm here. Action-packed night. I mean, when you're, are you back in the locker room watching this thing play out and, and seeing like how all these fights are finishing? I am. I am. Uh, you know, I was hoping there was a lot of knockouts so I could just get out there and do and uh, get my own. You know, but uh, it, it played out how I wanted it. Uh, I'm glad I got in there quick and got out quick. But when you're watching those fights, you see all these other guys impressing, are you thinking, well, that guy just took my contract, that yeah. guy just, I mean, are you worried at all about the math? No, Is there going to be space? I wasn't worried. I knew I'd go out and impress. Uh, I just had to do me, uh, do what I do in the gym. Uh, I trained a lot of top guys at Alliance MMA, and um, I knew I'd stand out. I'd catch in his eye for sure. Very nice. Talk about the fight itself. I mean, you came out and cracked him right away. Yep. Um, what did you see? I mean, did you think... Like, oh my God, how did, how did he take that shot? Or did you see, like, hey, I've got him and, and he's going to struggle to recover? What do you think after that first right hand? Uh, I visualized that right hand landing a thousand times. I dreamt about it, uh, just daydreaming about it, you know. And I, I knew once I landed it, I knew uh, just, it was a matter of time before it landed again and again and again. And uh, when I seen him drop, I jumped on him, just sort of hitting him and hitting him until the ref pulled me off. No, what's at stake, I wonder, I mean, when you see these hurt, does it turn up that aggression to run and get that finish, or do you mm -hmm. think... Be patient, you know, this is a big moment. It's, it's dangerous, you know, it's like backing a dog into a corner. They, they can lunge forward and bite, so um, you got to take your time, and uh, I did just that. I hurt them, um, took the openings when they were there, but I didn't want to rush it and, you know, get caught in something dumb. So um, I just I did what I had to do. All right, so last thing for me, you said it's been a 10-year journey to get here, but, you know, now the real work starts, I guess, at the UFC. How soon do you want to fight again? What, how do you want to make your UFC debut? Is there an opponent, a date, a location, anything where you say, you know, that's where I want to do it? You know, um, I'll fight next week. I just finished a week camp. I'm ready to go. Uh, I'm not hurt. Uh, I got in there, got to out in two minutes, and um, I'm ready to go again. Like I said, I'll fight next week. A lot of tough fights in the UFC, no easy fights, but um, I'm ready to go. Start working my way to the top. Cool. Cool. Thanks. Good. Thank you guys.